Welcome to today's video on 3D designing DNA. So as a quick review, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and DNA is the genetic information that codes the cells in our body. Now that we've reviewed the basics of DNA, let's get started with the designing process. To start designing our strand of DNA, we're going to go to Tinkercad.com. Here, we're going to log in using our school Gmail account and follow your teacher's directions to join her class with the class code that will be provided to you. Once you've signed in, you should see this dashboard and to start our design, we're going to click Create and select 3D Design. Here we have our workspace where we'll be creating our design and we have shapes that we can use to visualize our 3D design. So before we start designing, Check the settings in the lower right hand corner. Make sure the units is inches and the length and width should be set to 8 inches by 8 inches. Make sure that these settings are the default and then close your settings. Now to start designing our strand of DNA, I'm going to select a sphere from the basic shapes and drag it onto my work plane. Using this corner button over here, I'm going to adjust the length and width to 0.35 inches and I'll do the same for the height. Now drag the sphere onto a point on your plane and use Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V to make a copy and drag it two blocks away. Now again, do Control or Command C and then Control or Command V and drag it to the point in between the other two spheres. It's okay if it's not perfect because now We'll zoom in to get a better view, and then we'll use these side buttons to elongate the middle sphere so that it combines with the other two outer spheres. You can use the front view to get a better understanding of how big your middle sphere is, and then you can shorten it as per your liking. I'm going to use a height of 0.25 or 1 fourth of an inch for my component of the DNA and I'll also raise it by 0.05 of an inch so that it's centered in between the other two spheres. Now one component of our DNA is ready and I'm going to use the group function by selecting all three components of the DNA and then clicking this group button to combine the three components of my DNA and make it easier for me to duplicate it. Now to duplicate our component of the DNA, select your component and use Command D to make a duplicate. Now we'll raise our component up by 0.3 inches and selecting this top front corner and then using this rotation tool, we can rotate it by 10 degrees to have a nice twisted effect for our DNA. Now if you click off of the rotation feature and select your component and do command or control D, you'll notice that the component is duplicated in the same exact spot and we manually have to drag it up by 0.3 inches and rotate it by 10 degrees each and every time. But instead, if you do not click off of the rotation feature and you click command D, it'll automatically raise and rotate your component and this way you'll be able to easily create a nice and twisted effect for your DNA without having to manually adjust each and every component. Continue to duplicate the components until you think you're approximately at a height of six to seven inches. And then you can use this ruler feature to measure your height. My strand of DNA is currently at 6.3 inches. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Once you have also reached between six to seven inches, go ahead and stop duplicating your DNA. Once you're done measuring the height of your DNA strand, you can X out the measurement tool and then drag a cylinder from the basic shapes onto your work plane to create a stand for the DNA. Using this corner button, I'm gonna change the length and width to three inches each. And I'm going to decrease the height using this center um, center measurement button to 0 0.25 inches. Then I'm going to drag this component so that my DNA is approximately in the center 
and so that now I have a stand for my DNA. Now to customize this, you can take the text feature from the basic shapes and drag it onto your cylinder base. Then again, you can change the text. So for example, I'm going to write my DNA and here you can write your name instead of my so that you can differentiate between your classmates DNA. Then take this component and adjust the size so that it fits on the cylinder base. You can use these side buttons to adjust the size of your DNA and personalize it as per your liking. You can also decrease the height. So in my case, I'm going to do 0.2 inches and I'm going to drag the text so that it's completely inside my circular stand, like so. And there you have it, your very own design of DNA. Hopefully you can take away the skills of using simple shapes to create more complex 3D designs, and now you've learned how to duplicate and you have techniques to make the designing process easier. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.